which was Bob Peck and Joanne Wally from Edge of Darkness. And you, if you're happy, uh, as the leading actor in now is Best Commercial Success, which is up to you. I said, are you aware I've been relieved of my post? No, they said. Have you? Um, and they said, oh, well, we'll ring you back. And they rang back and said, no, you're still the doctor, so that's fine. We'd like you to go. So I'd been sacked from the job, and I went off with Joanne Wally and Bob Peck to New York and stayed at the Waldorf Astoria. Was treated like a demigod, going to all these banquets and stuff. Then to LA, ditto, and you know, being cheered by all the people. And found myself in a car one night with uh, Bob Peck, Joanne Wally, myself, and uh, David Dimbleby, who at that point had just not been made uh, controller of BBC, because uh, Michael Grade had. He'd stood against him. <coughs> and a car, a Rolls Royce pulled up beside us in the traffic of New York, driven by Michael Gray. Oh. So um, David Dimbleby wound the window down and shouted out, Oi, Grade, you mean bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you invited us to your, to your club for a drink? And Grade said, Follow me. So we followed this Rolls Royce to somewhere in New York. We all got out and went into this rubbish club, which Michael Gregg was a member of. And he didn't see me until that moment. And he positioned himself as far from me as he could. And his wife, who was a charming lady, said to me, uh, so when do you get back on to Doctor Who, Colin? I said, why don't you ask your husband? <laughs> and he said, well, I don't even need to talk about that. Went to talk to somebody else. But it was a wonderful, bizarre moment out of some crazed fiction that the bloke you, you've sacked turns up uh, in New York with you being fated and wined and dined and he's responsible for you not being ah, weird.